Fancy Nancy and the Wedding of the Century, written by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Price Glasser. Weddings are always such glorious occasions. Occasion is a fancy word for special event. I have planned so many weddings and now finally... I am going to a real one. My Uncle Cal called. He's getting married. Bree has been a flower girl twice. Right away she asks lots of questions. Will the guests come in tuxedos and long gowns? Will it be at a fancy hotel? And most important, will you be the flower girl? I am almost 100% sure of that, but Uncle Cal wants everything to be a surprise. All we know is the bride's name. It's Dawn, I tell Bree. Dawn is a fancy way of saying sunrise. With such a fancy name, the wedding is sure to be fancy too. The wedding is two weeks away. I dream about it day and night. I'm packed long before we leave. At last the big day arrives. Off we go. I may shut my eyes for a moment or two to get a little beauty rest. Ooh la la, we arrive at the hotel and I cannot believe my eyes. It looks like a palace. A palace is even bigger than a castle. There is a pool as large as a lake in the world's longest water slide. I spend the afternoon at the beauty salon and wee wee wee, I am the flower girl. Jojo gets to hold my train. At the reception, which is fancy for party, there's a band and a DJ. We all dance the night away. It is the wedding of the century. All of a sudden, I hear my mom calling. Nancy, Nancy, we're here, wake up. Say what? Was I dreaming the whole thing? When I get out of the car, I cannot believe my eyes. We are in the wilderness. Suddenly I have a terrible feeling that the wedding will not be like the one in my dreams. I'm the flower girl, right? I ask my mom. No, it's just the bride and groom, she says. My mom explains that Uncle Cal and Don want a wedding that is informal, non-traditional. I realize right away those are fancy sounding words for P-L-A-I-N, plain. But I get to stay up until midnight at the reception, I ask my dad. Actually, the wedding is in the morning, with breakfast after. My dad rubs his hands together and smacks his lips. Mmm, pancakes. Breakfast? Breakfast is the least fancy meal of the day. I try very hard to conceal my disappointment. That means I won't let anyone see how unhappy I am. At least there's a water slide. Jojo and I meet Dawn. I like collecting unusual pebbles, Dawn tells us. Want to help me find some? May we? Of course we would, I say. Ooh la la, here is a big one in the shape of a heart. It's translucent. That means you can see right through it, I explain to Dawn. I give Dawn the heart pebble because she and Uncle Cal are in love. I will keep this forever, Dawn says. Oh, the pebble can count as something new. Dawn explains that brides like to have something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue on their wedding day. It's a tradition. But our mom said the wedding is non-traditional. I say, you're not doing the usual things. Dawn smiles. That's true, but I like this tradition, and all I need is something borrowed. No problem, I say. I can let you borrow something. Dawn comes back with us to our cabin. I find something absolutely perfect for her. I never knew the wilderness was so noisy. An owl hoots, crickets chirp. At long last, I fall asleep. It seems like only a minute later I have to get up and get dressed for the wedding. Of all the guests, I am the fanciest by far. Here comes the bride. Dawn is beyond beautiful. She is exquisite, breathtaking, ravishing. Can you guess what she borrowed from me?
During the ceremony, we all weep a little because that is what you do at weddings. It's a tradition. Uncle Cal and my new Aunt Dawn kiss just as the sun is coming up. I've changed my mind. There's nothing more glorious than a non-traditional wedding. Last one in is a rotten egg.